And welcome to Football Fan Den UK. Hope you guys having a good Sunday afternoon as we're here for a live match watch along as Liverpool taking on Crystal Palace in the Premier League. Hopefully going to be a good game, guys. Hopefully some goals and uh, we'll see whether there's going to be any more upset today because uh, Rangers have just lost to Ross County. Big upset up there in Scotland. They've just pretty much handed the title to Celtic after a pretty good season so far, but they're messing it up now late on. And uh, this is the problem with title races, guys. Are the teams that are going to compete in the title race, do they buckle or do they say stay strong? And as we are seeing this week, few surprise results with teams challenging for titles. Rangers losing today. Liverpool losing in midweek in Europa League at 3 0. So the momentum is always not always guaranteed, guys. Not always guaranteed. So let's see uh, whether Liverpool can get the job done today or whether Crystal Palace are going to cause another upset. Uh, Stevie's with us saying hi, guys, and chat. How's it going, Stevie? As always, a pleasure to have you with us, mate. And thank you for the great support. So, we're just having a moment of silence. Uh, as I'm hearing, tomorrow is the anniversary of the Hillsborough disaster. I didn't realise it was that time of year again. And there we go, guys. Seems strange observing a moment of silence on the channel. I think that's the first time we've done it properly. Uh, but there you go. Uh, but uh, I always have the respect for uh, the passing of people that in sport and uh, innocent people that pass away uh, through no fault of their own. It's always a sad occasion, but uh, that's life, unfortunately, guys. So we're ready to get off and underway. As uh, the players just in a huddle. Stevie saying, I'm surprised with that Rangers result. I know, Stevie, yeah, I am I am shocked at that. Very much shocked. Apparently, first time in 20 odd years that R Ross County have beaten Rangers as well. So, big surprise up there in Scotland. So, teams just lining up now. We should be underway. And we're off and underway. Palace now with the possession as they play the ball out wide to that far side. Just cutting it back inside as now they play it back into their own half of the field. Now Palace coming forward down the middle as they play the ball out wide on that far side. Ball crossed into the box as it's knocked away as Allison. Gets down low to make the save. Alisson returning for Liverpool. I'm not sure if he was available for him. I don't think he was available for him on Thursday, but first time I've seen him back playing for Liverpool. So now Crystal Palace with another shot and from the edge of the box, but it's a timid effort and it's uh, straight down the goalkeeper's throat, throat, so to speak, as Alisson makes a comfortable save there for Liverpool. Now Liverpool to play out from the back. As they just... Just knock it about on the edge of their own box. Now playing it out wide to this near side as Palace press from the front. 
Now Liverpool switching the possession out to the opposite side of the field as they play the ball long up towards the halfway line. As the challenge comes in and the referee's blown for the foul there, so free kick to Liverpool as they try to quickly take it, but the left referee's not having none of it as he pulls them back to retake it. So free kick on the halfway line, uh, out on that far side of the field, taken short by Liverpool. That's now they play it forward. Bradley on that far side, chips it over the top, looking to get in behind the uh, Crystal Palace defence, but Crystal Palace had it away as now they knock the ball up the field on that far side. Both sets of players trying to win it now as it uh, is uh, played forward back to the halfway line. Palace win it back just inside their own half as they chip it over the top uh, and Liverpool intercept it at the back. Now Liverpool with the possession as uh, so they switch the play out to this near side. And football fan, how are you doing, mate? Uh, football fan saying, come on, Reds. How you doing, mate? Welcome to the show. Hope you're doing well. Now Liverpool with the possession played out wide on this near side as Palace just knock it out of play there and that will be a throw into Liverpool. Ball comes back in play as now Liverpool play it into the centre. Strong challenge comes in there from Palace but no foul given as Liverpool managed to keep the possession. Now playing it out wide on that far side as it's played to Mo Salah. Now taking it to the byline as they try to get the crossing with Bradley, but it's blocked off there by Palace as Liverpool just cut the ball back. Now it's played back out wide and uh, just sneaks out of play on that far side and that will be a throw in to Palace. Uh, football fans saying, come on, Reds. Thank you for that, mate. And welcome to the show. Hope you're having a good day, football fan. And uh, yeah, you never walk alone yet. Just uh, been listening to the minute silence, mate, as it's the, the uh, anniversary of Hillsborough tomorrow. So uh, I didn't realise it come round so quick. Every year goes by quicker and quicker, doesn't it, mate? But uh, I'm sure there will be tributes play, paid tomorrow uh, for that from the uh, Anfield faithful. As the ball headed out wide on that far side. Palace just keeping it in there. Uh, so it just gets out of play and it's uh, another throw in this time to Liverpool. Bradley to take it. Uh, so thank you for that, uh, football fan. Uh, Stevie saying hi, football fan. Awesome. Thank you, Stevie. Top stuff, mate. And uh, Jamie's with us. How you doing, Jamie? Welcome to the show, mate. Jamie saying, all right, guys, how are you? And chat. I'm not too bad, mate. How are you doing? Uh, welcome to the show, Jamie. Good to have you with us. Now Liverpool with the possession as they just knock it about at the back outside their own box. Now it's knocked out wide on this near side as it's played long up the field. As uh, Palace tried to knock it back in the direction it came from and they managed to do so as now Liverpool intercept it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now Liverpool with the possession played out wide to Bradley on that far side as they try to knock it forward but Palace quickly pressing the ball on that far side as Liverpool play it back into the middle. Now the ball just played forward to the halfway line as it's now chipped out wide to that far side to Mo Salah. Mo Salah playing a 1-2 as Liverpool tried to move down that far side, but it's cut out by Palace as they now race forward up towards the halfway line. Challenge comes in from Palace, as, uh, sorry, from Liverpool as Palace lose the possession there. And now Liverpool play it back into the centre circle, playing the ball forward as Liverpool try to keep the possession under pressure there. But Palace have managed to win it. It's now Palace with the possession, just playing it back into the centre circle as they try to knock it forward. But Liverpool quickly challenge for it. It's, uh, Palace just cut it back to their centre-backs there inside their own half and eventually all the way back to the goalkeeper. Uh, Stevie saying hi, Jamie. Awesome. Thank you, Stevie. And Jamie returning that same consideration. Top stuff, guys. And uh, Jamie saying, Megan, Megan in bed. She's a little bit uh, hang hangover. I <laughs> bet she is. I bet she is, yeah. Well, hopefully she had a good night. That's the main thing. <laughs> a little bit hangover. Now Liverpool playing the ball out wide on this near side as 
They play it back into the centre. Crystal Palace trying to challenge for it. And they've managed to win it here. As Palace now racing forward. Playing it out wide on that far side as they come forward now. Into the Liverpool half. Bradley trying to challenge for it on that tap far side, but Palace have managed to keep it here. Cut it back up the field. Now they play it into the centre as Liverpool challenge for it and win it back. But they've not cleared it yet as they play it out wide on that far side and Palace quickly challenge. And now Palace have won it back as they knock it back towards the Liverpool box. As Liverpool challenge for it on that far side and just managed to win it back before. Palace could get the cross in the box. It's now, oh, they managed to, well, it's a bit sloppy today from Liverpool. Now the ball played at pace up this near side as Andy Robertson playing it forward. Now Liverpool on the attack as they come into the box. Shot comes in and it's right down the goalkeeper's throat. He manages to save that quite comfortably and that will be relief momentarily for Palace. Uh, Stevie saying, laugh out loud, Jamie. Hope she had a good night. Absolutely well said, Stevie. And Jamie saying, Stevie, she walked in 2.30 this morning. <laughs> well, she must have had a good night then. Now Liverpool with the possession as it's played out wide on that far side. Liverpool now with the possession as it's uh, played into the centre of the field. Now knocked out wide on this near side. Liverpool just knocking it about on the halfway line at the moment. Not doing an awful lot with it as Palace sitting uh, deep inside their own half. Or should I say deepish. Now the ball played back into the middle as it's chipped over the top. But it's a poor ball. And it's gone out of play on this near side. And that will be a throw into uh, Crystal Palace deep inside their own half. Just to let you guys know, Fulham have scored against West Ham in the London derby. So West Ham nil, Fulham won. Big upset today, isn't there as well with Rangers losing, guys. Uh, Pure Lois is saying, sorry, folks, quick hello and like. Sorry, won't be able to reply. Uh, lots to lots to do, uh, but all the best to all. No worries, Pure Lois. I uh, hope you're enjoying your Sunday, mate. Thank you for dropping in. Always good to see you. I uh, hope you're enjoying your Sunday, as I say. And uh, keep cheering up, mate. Hope you do. Hope you uh, manage to sort out uh, the problem that you're having at the moment. So thank you for dropping in, mate. <laughs> now Liverpool with the possession in the middle of the park. Ball played out wide on this near side. As it's just cut back inside. I feel really sneezy today for some reason. Now the ball played out wide on this near side as Palace come to challenge for it. But Liverpool just managing to keep the possession there as they cut it back. Now ball chipped forward over the top. As uh, Liverpool just managing to keep the possession on the edge of the Palace box. It's knocked out wide to that far side. As Palace come across to press the ball, it's played in behind there, but uh, lack of communication there between the Liverpool players as McAllister played it in behind, but it's gone straight past everybody and out of play. Uh, so thank you for that, Pure Lollis. And uh, as I say, keep chin up, mate. Obviously having a few personal difficulties at the minute. Probably not helped by his team losing this afternoon either with a shocker. Uh, Stevie's saying, uh, fun times, laugh out loud. Absolutely well said, Stevie. Um, Jamie is saying, hi, Pure. You all right, pal? Awesome. Thank you for that, Jamie. Loving the positive vibes, mate. And Stevie saying, and to you, and to you, loyalist. Oh, now Liverpool playing the ball forward as they managed to catch Palace over committing there as it's deflected out to this near side. Liverpool trying to get the cross in there as it's knocked away by Palace, but Liverpool win it back on this near side as they play it back into the centre of the park and now it's uh, just played towards the edge of the box there as uh, Palace managed to knock it away and eventually it goes out of play on this near side for a throw-in 
And don't forget, guys, please do hit that thumbs up if you could. And thank you very much if you have already. Thumbs up there from Pure Lawless. Thank you, mate. And uh, Jamie's saying uh, her bank not giving, not going, going to like it, uh, but she works hard for it. Uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. If you work hard, play hard. That's the saying, isn't it, mate? If you work hard, play hard. Uh, Paris saying hi. How are you doing, Paris? Welcome to the show, mate. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good day, Paris. Hope you're having a good Sunday, mate. Now Paris playing the ball into the centre of the park as it's uh, challenged by Liverpool. But Paris just keeping the possession there as. Sorry, guys, as you play it back to their centre-backs. Now the ball played forward as Liverpool win it back in the centre circle. It's knocked forward as Palace managed to knock it away out to this near side as they tried to play it long there, but Liverpool just intercept it and play it back to the goalkeeper. Oh, what are they doing? Well, that's a big mess up between Liverpool. Some communication problems going on here for Liverpool. Uh, so thank you for that, Paris. Welcome to the show, mate. Hope you're doing well. Stevie's saying absolutely uh, too right, Jamie. Yeah, work hard, play hard. And Stevie's saying hi, Paris. Awesome. Thank you, Stevie. And also Jamie saying hi, Paris. You are right. Top stuff, guys. Thank you very much. Now, oh, Paris, I really need to... Sorry, guys, I'm feeling really sneezy all of a sudden for some reason. It's probably this bloody microphone. <laughs> now, Palace with a possession on that far side. Ball played towards the byline as it's crossed in and Palace has scored. Palace with the early goal. 13 minutes in and Liverpool have been cut wide open at the back. And it was a simple ball played down that far side to the byline. Crossed in, and Liverpool find themselves a goal behind. Well, uh, uh, Liverpool buckling under the pressure. Surprise goal, and Liverpool find themselves behind, but credit to Palace as they manage to open the scoring, and Paris saying good, uh, good to hear, mate, good to hear, awesome, thank you for that, Paris. Uh, Jamie saying Liverpool not playing that good at the moment, I know they've seemed to have lost all momentum, haven't they, since they played that United game a couple the other week, since then. Um, they've been they've just lost their they've just lost their uh, run of form. Before that, they was winning pretty consistently, weren't they? But as I say, that draw against United last weekend, the last weekend won it. Uh, it seems to have upset their momentum. As so now they play the ball forward on that far side. It's challenged by Palace as Palace chipped the ball uh, over the top, trying to get in behind the Liverpool defence as they do. Liverpool challenge for it on that far side, but un unable to win it as Palace. Oh, all oh, right, and now that right, well, the referee's blown for offside there, so that will be a free kick to Liverpool on the far side of the field. Whoa! Didn't know that. Did you hear that, guys? For the twenty-first time this season, Liverpool have gone behind. That's some stat. I didn't realise that. Now Liverpool playing the ball forward. It's intercepted by Palace on the halfway line as it's knocked out wide on that far side. Now Liverpool uh, trying to challenge as Crystal Palace come forward, trying to bombard, bombard themselves through the Liverpool defence. It's knocked away up the field as it uh, eventually goes all the way back to the Palace goalkeeper. Now Palace trying to play out from the back as Liverpool quickly push players forward to press the ball from the front. As now Palace, again, just cutting it back there, playing it back to the goalkeeper. Now the goalkeeper chips the ball over the top. 
And so it's played long up the field. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Now Liverpool with the possession on the halfway line. Ball played out wide on this near side as Palace come to challenge for it, but Liverpool just keeping it there as they play it back inside. And now the ball worked out wide on that far side. Uh, Jamie is saying, back in five minutes, uh, getting a drink, Gaz. No worries, Jamie. No worries, mate. Now the ball played back out wide on this near side as it's chipped forward. And Liverpool coming in uh, to the box here as it's crossed in by Diaz. As Palace just managing to knock it away as they play it out wide on that far side. Uh, Paris is saying Liverpool, oh Palace in behind the Liverpool defence now as they chip the goalkeeper and if, well it's cleared off the line, I don't know if that's going to count, did it go behind? Well that's a big shocker, was that cleared off the line, I'm not, well it was off the line, I don't know if it passed the line. Well, let's just see this replay. Oh, that's a tight one. Has he kept it out? Oh, he might just have done. Andy Robertson to the rescue for Liverpool. It's right on the line and all. I'm sure VAR's going to be checking this. Now, Palace with the possession as it's played out wide on this near side. Liverpool challenge for it. Palace just keep the possession there. Playing it back to their defensive line. Now it's chipped out wide on that far side. As uh, Palace now with the possession on the far side. Coming towards the edge of the box. It's knocked away by Liverpool. As Palace win it back on that far side. Now trying to come forward as Liverpool challenge. But... Uh, and so Liverpool do challenge. Palace just play it back uh, to the defensive line inside their own half. Now the ball switched out to this near side. As Liverpool challenge, but the referee's going to give the foul out. So free kick to Palace on this near side. So Paris, sorry, mate. Uh, Paris saying Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace two. Is that in response to that goal? Almost going over the line. Or oh, is that a prediction, Paris? Uh, thank you for that, mate. One nil, yep. Thank you, Paris. Now the ball played out wide on this near side as Liverpool come to challenge there and it's just gone out of play. Now throwing on this near side as Palace played back to the halfway line. Now it's played back into the centre of the field as uh, Palace switched the play out to the far side. Just cutting it back there as Liverpool pressed the ball and Palace cut it back to the halfway line. Now the, with the possession in the centre circle as they knock it back out wide on that far side. But uh, referee blowing the whistle there, he's claiming offside. But that didn't, that didn't look offside. But the referee's saying it's offside. Didn't look to be. So if you just join us, guys, uh, we're 20 minutes in. Liverpool nil, Palace 1. Liverpool. Now with the possession on this near side as it's played back into the centre. Now, Liverpool just knocking it about on the edge of their own box as Palace press the ball from the front. It's knocked forward as Liverpool just uh, keeping the possession under pressure here though as they eventually play it all the way back to the goalkeeper. Now Alisson kicks the ball long up the field. Liverpool look shaky at the back today, don't they? As Liverpool now with the ball in the Palace half as they knock it forward. It's blasted away by Palace as Liverpool regain the possession in the centre circle. Now it's played out wide on this near side as Liverpool just unable to keep it in there. And now a Palace player down on the ground. So just going to receive treatment there. Um, 
Right, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to quickly go and clear my sinuses a minute. I'll be right back in a sec. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Don't, as you guys know, I don't normally uh, leave me post, so to speak, in the middle of a game. But uh, just needed to, just needed to clear my sinuses there. Just kept, kept feeling really sneezy, really sneezy. So uh, uh, hopefully I'll be okay now. Just so now, Liverpool have won a corner on this near side. Paris is saying uh, Villa. Play tonight. Did he? That's news to me, mate. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, my apologies. That's not tonight. This this afternoon, late this afternoon. Uh, that's why he threw me off. Ball attempted crossed in there, but it's knocked away. That's uh, Andy Robertson trying to cross it in there, but it's blocked off by Palace. But, yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. Not quite tonight, mate, this afternoon. Uh, but thank you for that, Paris. Yeah, he threw me off then, we're saying tonight. Uh, I think of tonight as anything past six o'clock. Uh, so thank you for that, mate. Stevie's saying, sorry, guys, switch, uh, switch to counts, bat battery gone. All ah, right, thank you, Stevie. Ball played out wide on that far side. As both players in a tussle for it, it's not forward to the halfway line. Not cleared yet. It's, uh, neither team winning it there. And eventually Liverpool do knock it out wide to this near side. It's now Luis Diaz charging forward as he plays it into the box. He's pulled down there. <coughs> well, it does look like he was pulled down there. Yeah, just seeing a replay of it there. Now, the referee not giving the foul. And now, Palace with the possession on the edge of the centre circle. Ball played out wide on that far side as Palace now coming forward in the Liverpool half. Liverpool trying to challenge, but Palace keeping the possession as it's, well, just challenge that come, comes in again from Liverpool and it's knocked out of play on that far side. And Jamie's saying back, Gaz. Awesome. Good to have you back, Jamie. Hope you got a nice drink, mate. Uh, now Liverpool with the possession on that far side as they've got a throw in deep inside their own half. Uh, pitch side with the parts. How you doing, mate? Welcome to the show. Pitch side with the parts saying hello, Gaz. Uh, mate, hope. How is everyone? How is everything going? Not too bad, mate. How are you doing? Welcome to the show. Hope you're doing well, mate. Hope you had a good day yesterday at the football. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm good. Thank you for asking, mate. Hope you're also good as well. Hope you're having a good weekend, mate. Now, Palace with the possession on that far side as they just play the ball. Back inside as they come forward now, down the middle, into the Liverpool half. It's knocked out wide on that far side. Oh. It's blasted away there. It's Liverpool trying to blast it, but it's deflected off the Palace player and it's gone behind. So, throwing on that far side for Liverpool, deep inside their own half. Uh, pitch side with the Potter saying, hello everyone else, of course, as well. Awesome. Thank you, mate. Top stuff. Loving the positive vibes. Top man. Top man. Thank you, pitch side with the Potters. Loving the positive vibes, mate. Top man. 
Uh, Jamie's saying, high pitch side with the Potters. Awesome. Thank you, Jamie. Now the ball played out wide on this near side as Liverpool coming forward. And Robertson, ball into the box as he's got a cross in there, but it's knocked away by Palace. And that's going to be a corner for Liverpool on this near side. But Andy Robertson definitely looking at Liverpool's best player so far this afternoon. He's already cleared one ball off the line uh, to stop Palace scoring a second. And uh, now he's just won a corner for Liverpool on this near side. He's going to take it. Now the ball crossed in as it's not cleared. And the ball into the back of the eye. Oh, bounced off the top of the crossbar and back out as Palace challenge for the ball as it bounced back outside the box. Now it's hooked out wide on that far side as Liverpool trying to keep the ball in play. As uh, Now it's crossed into the box. It's headed away but not cleared as Liverpool with the possession on the edge of the box. Now taking it out wide on this near side as the cross comes in again and it's knocked away by Palace as the ball bounces out of play on this near side for another throw into Liverpool midway inside the Palace half. Thank you for that, Jamie. Uh, pitch side with the potted parts saying, uh, hello, Jamie. Uh, and uh, so I'm good, guys. Top stuff, mate. Top stuff. Good to hear. And Jamie saying, only a coffee, guys. I know. Yeah, you can't beat the coffee. That's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, a bit, yeah, a bit, a bit too early for the Irish stuff, in it? so to speak, or the Scottish stuff, whichever way you want to call it, because the Scottish make whiskey as well, don't they? <laughs> so, yeah, Scottish and Irish whiskey, can't beat it. <laughs> Although, you need to make sure you've not got work the next morning. <laughs> now, Liverpool playing the ball down this near side. I always just call it the... Uh, uh, I think I think Ireland makes some of the some really good whiskey, don't they? But uh, the Ireland's more famous for the Guinness, though, aren't they? Now the ball played down the middle as it's knocked out wide and it's crossed in there as Liverpool with an acrobatic shot towards goal and the goalkeeper saved it. I've never actually tried that stuff, you know, guys. Never ever tried Guinness. I've never quite. Uh, Oh, that was a really good effort at the back post. So, corner on the far side for Liverpool. What do you guys make of the upset up in Scotland this afternoon? Now the ball comes in as it's headed over the bar. And that will be a goal kick for Palace. Yeah, what do you guys make of the upset this afternoon? Rangers losing 3-2 away to Ross County. Big upset up there in Scotland. Uh, pitch side with the part saying, uh, I'm Palace, I'm Villa today. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Obviously. I'm presuming you want City to win the title then, mate. Oh, this sneeziness is driving me crazy. Uh, try and never, never realised it was so hard not to try and sneeze when you... On camera, I think this bloody microphone sponge isn't, isn't helping. Now Liverpool with the possession played out wide as Crystal Palace challenge, but the referee's going to give the foul that. So free kick on the far side for Liverpool inside the Palace half. Not quite halfway. So we've had four shots for Liverpool so far and uh, three for Palace. Now Liverpool playing the ball back to the halfway liners. Palace challenge for it as they win it back here. Now Palace on the charge down the middle as they play the ball out towards that far side. It's crossed in, knocked towards goal. And Alisson makes a save. But I th yeah, I thought they were Palace getting the offside flag there. Uh, Stevie's saying high pitch side. Awesome. Thank you, Stevie. Top stuff. Nice one, mate. And uh, Jamie's saying Liverpool getting, uh, getting in this game now. Yeah, they're starting to get themselves a, get themselves playing a bit better, aren't they, at the moment? Thank you for that, Jamie. Uh, pitch side with the part saying, hello, guys, go. Awesome. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Liverpool coming towards the edge of the box. As a challenge comes in here, and the referee's going to give the foul. So free kick to Liverpool right on the edge of the box here. So thank you for that. 
mate. Top man. Picked out of the potters there, saying hello to Stevie. Uh, Millsard, how you doing, mate? Uh, Millsard saying hi, everyone. How you doing, Millsard? Welcome to the show, mate. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good weekend, mate. Hope you're having a good weekend. And welcome to the show. Don't forget, guys, please do hit the like button if you could. And thank you if you have already. So Liverpool now with a free kick right on the edge of the box. <coughs> very, very central. <coughs> very central opportunity, this. Uh, so thank you for that, Millsod. As I say, mate, welcome to the show. Jamie's saying, I can't drink uh, whiskey. I don't like it. Fair enough. Fair enough, mate. Yeah. It was always seen as uh, the main stuff back years ago, though, wasn't it? Because it was used for, obviously, for drinking, for medicinal purposes, and also for injuries during wartime as well. It's... Uh, it's a, a bit of a multi-purpose multi -purpose, uh, thing, whiskey. It was used as a, an, an, an anaesthetic as well, wasn't it? In respect to knocking people out for uh, an operation in World War One. That's what they used to do, you know, give them whiskey so they could chop their leg off. <laughs> Imagine that. Huh? That's a hangover you're never going to forget, isn't it? But that was, uh, they didn't have all the uh, fancy surgical stuff that they know today back then well Liverpool with the opportunity there but the wall's done its job as the ball's bounced away out to this near side and that's going to be a throw into Palace uh, Jamie saying hi Millsod awesome thank you mate top stuff and pitch side with the parts also saying hi there Millsod awesome you guys absolutely class as always thank you now Palace with the possession as they've got a throw in on this near side. Ball played forward there as it's won back by Liverpool. Now Liverpool playing the ball back into the centre as it kicked long down the field. Now Liverpool in behind as Mo Salah comes racing into the box, gets the shot off and the goalkeeper makes the save as it's deflected out to this near side. Now Palace playing the ball back into the centre as Liverpool win back the possession. Challenges going in all over the place here. Now, ball played out wide on this near side. As uh, Palace managed to win the ball back here. But, uh, Liverpool challenge, and now Liverpool have won it back as they kick the ball long down this near side. Palace come across and knock the ball out of play, and that will be a throw in on this near side for Liverpool. Now Liverpool trying to come towards the edge of the box as Palace challenged there and it's gone out of play on this near side for a throw-in. Uh, so thank you for that, guys. Uh, pitch side with the part saying uh, it's it's bonkers, guys. The last thing uh, the Gears needed. I know, yeah, I was surprised, mate, when I turned it on before. Only caught the tail end of it, but I was shocked. Absolutely, mate. Big surprise up there in Scotland, mate. I'm totally right. And big, I, I was expecting... I was expecting Rangers to really put the, put a run together now and just get it wrapped up. Now Liverpool with the possession on this near side, but you're absolutely right, mate. It's very crazy, bonkers, as you put it. I like that. That's a top word, bonkers. Uh, I used to use that loads when I was younger. Uh, pitch side with the part saying, don't care who wins it, guys. To be honest, uh, care more about uh, individual matches at this point. Right, fair enough. No, respect that, mate. Respect your honesty. Thank you for that. Pitch side. Oh, Palace playing it forward here as they get in behind. And, well, the ball just bounces off in there and straight into the hands of the Liverpool goalkeeper. As now Liverpool uh, playing the ball out wide on this near side. As they just keep it in play. And now Palace come to press the ball as Liverpool just knocking it about on this near side, midway inside their own half, as they play it back into the middle. And so it's just not back to Allison there. Uh, but no, that fair enough. Pitch side with the parts, top stuff, mate. That's uh, very honest, uh, honesty, honest from you there, mate. That's uh, refreshing, actually. It's quite refreshing. Most, most fans who have got an opinion on title chasing teams 
uh, normally want one team or another to win, don't they? So uh, respect to you for that, mate. Uh, Milzard is saying hi, Pitchside and Jamie. Awesome. Thank you, Milzard. Top man. Top man. Now Liverpool playing the ball out wide on this near side as uh, Palace come to challenge, but Liverpool just cut it back inside as now they play a long ball out wide on that far side as it's not back forward. Palace winning the, the loose ball there as it played forward, but Liverpool managed to win it back as now they play it back into the centre, coming out towards this near side as Palace shift players across to press the ball and now Liverpool just chip it back inside, back towards the edge of the centre circle as Palace come to press the ball from the front. Still Palace 1-0 up. Guys, 30, just coming up to 37 minutes gone. And Jamie saying, Milzard, how are you doing? Awesome. Thank you, Jamie. Top stuff. You guys absolutely class. Thank you, Jamie. And uh, Milzard saying, I'm good. How about you? Awesome. And Jamie saying, I'm all good. Uh, I'm all right, pal. Milzard, awesome. Top man, Jamie. Top, top man. You guys absolutely class, as always. So now the ball back with the Palace goalkeeper as he kicks it long down the field. And Liverpool knocking it back forward, but it's won back by Palace there. It's now Palace with the possession, played out wide on that far side as it's chipped forward. And eventually it bounces all the way back to the Liverpool goalkeeper. Um, so, yeah, good to hear you guys doing well today. Top stuff, guys. Uh, Milzard is saying, uh, I've had a great weekend. How about you guys? Yeah, I'm not too bad, mate. I've just been working. I've spent all day yesterday working on the channel. Um, so, yeah, not really had much time to uh, enjoy mm, the weekend, really, mate. Most of the weekends, I just work on fandom. Um, but, uh, but other than that, yeah, it's been good, mate. Been good. Couldn't believe it. I tried to get a head start last night. As soon as I come off, I had something to eat. Got cracked on straight with the editing. Uh, then replied to messages and replied that took ages. Then did more editing for today. And by the time I were finished, it was half one in the morning. It's like, where's the time gone? Unbelievable how much time saps up making edits and replying to messages sometimes at weekend. It's crazy. Uh, but it's all part of the task. Now Liverpool with the possession and say, trying to come forward here. Palace challenging for it. So it's chipped along down that far side. Uh, but thank you for that. Asking Millsard. Appreciated, mate. Top man. Now it's knocked away out to that far side as Liverpool win back the possession. It's played forward as it's knocked away by Palace and it's gone out of play on that far side for another throwing to Liverpool. Uh, pitch side with the part saying, uh, Gaz, learn, learn, beat Guys, oh, Lan, sorry, I'm reading it wrong. My bad, but my bad, mate. Lan beat Cliftonville 8 1 for indications. Uh, Lan and first, Lan are first, uh, and Cliftonville are third. Uh, the NIF, NIFL is very inconsistent. Well, I've st as you know, mate, I have started taking notice of the results to try and obviously. Uh, get a feel for how it works in the Northern Irish Premier League because up until I'd done Van Den, I'd never uh, taken any notice, if I'm honest. It's no, no disrespect to Northern Ireland, Northern Irish football, but obviously before I did the channel, I was working a lot more and uh, I, barely, I barely had team to watch my own time before I started Van Den. So, but as you know, I've been keeping an eye on uh, Northern Irish results so I can start trying to learn about the Northern Irish clubs so that hopefully at some point in the future, we'll uh, try and do some start doing a bit uh, to do with Northern Irish football at some point. But uh, yeah, I've just got to watch and learn at the moment, watch it where, where I can and uh, obviously keep learning about the teams in the league. And obviously you've been helping with that, mate. Keep telling me bits and bobs. So that's very helpful. As I, as I say, I'm pretty much a novice when it comes to the Northern Irish League because I don't know the clubs very well. Uh, but as I say, I've been watching out for the results. I've been taking notice, uh, trying to work out which teams are, you know, the, the better teams and which teams are, are, are the teams that struggle. So obviously, I'm not going to learn that overnight. I found that with Scottish football. 
uh, when I, I I knew Scottish football before, but obviously some of the lower league teams I, I didn't know very well. So uh, teams, some of the teams in in the Scottish Championship, Scottish League One, that kind of stuff, I didn't know very well. So over the time I've been doing fan den over the couple, last few years, I've been learning gradually, learning more about them. So um, uh, hopefully that will prove to also be the case uh, with the Northern Irish League. Now the ball played over the top by Liverpool as it's crossed into the box and knocked away by Palace, but it's not cleared as eventually Liverpool get another shot off, but it is cleared eventually up the field. And now the referee has blown for a foul here. But yeah, thank you uh, for the info, pitch side with the Potters. Nice one, mate. Top man. And uh, pitch side with the part, part saying, uh, and two weeks ago, Cliftonville beat Lan. Laugh out loud. Right, well, as I say, Matt, I, I'm still learning about which teams are expected to win and which teams are, uh, don't always win. I know uh, Lan are a pretty good team. I, I know that. I've seen, I'm sure I've seen them in the Europa, 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 uh, sorry, Europa League before. So they're obviously an half-decent team to qualify for, for getting into European football. Um, and I've still got to learn about that because I'm not sure how it works with Northern Irish clubs qualifying. Do you guys get an automatic qualification uh, into the Europa League uh, or do you actually have to qualify through, if you get what I mean, do you have to go through another qualifying stage like um, like they do with the Champions League, like they used to do in Scotland? They don't anymore. Now Scotland's got an automatic spot. They've got one automatic spot into the Champions League, but they used to have to, they used to, have to get win the league and then qualify through the qualifiers to qualify for the group stages. So I'm presuming it might be similar to that uh, in uh, in Northern Irish League because I know it's like that in Wales. Now Liverpool playing the ball into the centre of the park as it's challenged there by Palace as Palace win it back. Now Palace knocking it out wide on this near side as uh, Liverpool tried to challenge as they play it forward up towards the halfway line. It's won back by Liverpool. That's now Liverpool with the possession in the centre circle, is challenged on the edge of the centre circle there by Palace as they win it back. Now Palace on the attack as they knock the ball forward. Liverpool with limited bodies behind the ball here as Palace come into the box to get the shot off, but it's blocked off and the ball bounces away as Liverpool manage to knock it away up to the halfway line. It's chipped out wide on that far side as Palace just trying to keep the ball in play there as Liverpool come across and challenge and it's eventually has gone out of place so that'll be a throw into Palace on the far side now Palace knocking the ball forward ball crossed in it's headed over the top of the crossbar and that will be a, a goal kick or should be a goal kick to Liverpool I think so yeah thank you for that pitch side with the parts uh, Mills are saying I'm still buzzing about Wigan yesterday having beaten Lincoln uh, who have uh, not lost since January 13th. Absolutely, yeah. Good win for you guys yesterday, mate. I did spot that result. I don't know the details of the game, but yeah, absolutely. Good win for you guys. I think, did you did you come from behind as well? I can't remember. Obviously, I was keeping an eye on a lot of results yesterday, but I'm sure, I'm sure you guys came from behind in that one. Or did you take the lead? I can't remember. I can't remember. Now the ball played down this near side as Liverpool win the possession as Palace tried to challenge for it, but uh, Liverpool managing to retain it as now they play it into the centre of a circle. It's chipped out wide on that far side as it just runs out of play and that will be a throw in on the far side of the field. Two minutes added on. Yeah, I thought you're never going to come. Thank you. But yep, absolutely, Mills. Are glad to hear you enjoyed it, mate. A really good win for you guys yesterday. Uh, Jamie's saying good win for you for for Mills Millwall yesterday. I can't remember that one. Too much football. <laughs> Too much football to remember, guys. What was that one? I'm trying to remember. Uh, ball now on the far side with Palace as they try to come forward. But, uh, it's won back by Liverpool. It's now Liverpool kick the ball long, looking to get in behind. But uh, goalkeeper just comes out to intercept that there. And that released the pressure momentarily for Palace. Um, where are we? I'm looking for 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, three one against Cardiff. Yeah, good win for Mill Millwall. You know, sometimes it's so much to do on a Saturday, guys. Sometimes it's difficult to absorb absolutely every result. But yeah, absolutely good win there from Millwall, mate. As you say, Jamie. Uh, Millzard is saying it was awesome. Thank you, guys. Millwall saying. And Ratcliffe won the league yesterday, did they? Awesome. Well, thank you for that. Millwall, I didn't know that. Uh, Millzard, I didn't know that. I not had a chance to uh, look at the non-league, but well set, top stuff. Congratulations, Ratcliffe Borough. Ratcliffe Borough winning the league yesterday. Good news. That's, uh, yeah, didn't know that, mate. Thank you for letting me know, Millzard. As I say, so much to do on Saturday, keeping up with everything else. I don't get a chance to always look at the results and absorb them properly. And there goes the half-time whistle. And at half-time, it's Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace one. Uh, Jamie's saying, guys, I'm back in 10 minutes, going to put uh, my drills on charge. I do it now and I can remember. Absolutely. Well, yep, no worries, Jamie. Uh, Millsard saying, see you, Jamie. Uh, awesome. Thank you, Mizzle. I'm sure he'll be back in a minute. Just he's got to get his work preparations done for tomorrow. But thank you for that, Millsard. Top stuff, mate. Uh, Millsard saying, uh, we, took, uh, we took the lead uh, and scored uh, 91st uh, minute winner. Awesome. Wow. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's fantastic. I'll, I'll have a look later, mate. Uh, like I say, with all the foot, as you know, I cover a lot of football here on Fanden, so don't always get a chance to check all the non-league results. But yeah, buzzing to hear uh, Ratcliffe have won the league. That's awesome. Um, and so they keep progressing up the divisions. It would be awesome to see Ratcliffe push up the leagues uh, and get themselves possibly in a position where they could get promoted into League Two at some point. But uh, obviously, then they've got a bit of work to do to get to that stage. But it's going to be interesting. Uh, also, Bury won yesterday. Did you see, mate? Bury played Rams bottom yesterday. Uh, that finished 2 1 to Bury, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, some good local results um, in North Manchester and the North Manchester area. Uh, but thank you for that, Millsard. Top stuff, mate. Right, guys, let's have a look at the uh, half time uh, match stats. Dude. So, just bear me a second, guys. Just going to bring up the uh, yeah, match stats. Don't worry. Keep comments coming, guys. I'll come back to the comments shortly. Just uh, going to check out these match stats. Let's have a look how that game's gone in numbers. Uh, so, uh, first half, guys, has gone like this. Don't worry if you can't read it. I'll read it out to you. Uh, first half like this. Total shots, uh, seven for Liverpool. Uh, six for Crystal Palace. Uh, shots on target. Um, three for Liverpool. Four for Palace. Uh, possession, 63% for Liverpool. Uh, 37. 37% for Palace. Uh, passes, 351 for Liverpool. 217 for Palace. Uh, pass accuracy, 82% for Liverpool. 75% uh, for Palace. Uh, fouls, four for Liverpool. Uh, and four for Palace. Uh, yellow cards, none. Uh, offsides, uh, sorry, red cards, none. Uh, offsides, two against Liverpool, four against Palace. Uh, and corners, uh, three for Liverpool, none for Palace. So, uh, so, uh, and even, we, 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 the, the, apart from possession, a reasonably evenly matched first half. Uh, not too much between the two teams. Uh, Liverpool just starting to, Get a bit of fluidity going, I think, in that uh, towards the end of that first half. Uh, so yeah, let's put the uh, other stats back on the screen. Oh, this sneeziness is driving me crazy. Um, Millsard is saying uh, next season they will be in 
uh, National National League North. Awesome. Well, thank you for letting let me know, Mills. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll have a look later, mate. Thank you for uh, giving me the heads up on that, top man. Uh, Mills are also saying, but Lincoln uh, scored three offside goals uh, against Wigan. Well, I haven't seen the highlights, mate. I was too busy doing edits and stuff last night. I was really busy uh, doing edits and replying to messages and stuff. So I, I, I didn't have any chance. I didn't. I just didn't have any time to watch any football highlights. By the time I finished, it was half past one in the morning. So, so you know, every Saturday, guys, I'm always busy. I'm always busy because I have to promote the channel. I do posts for social media. I do the edits for the next day. And I also catch up with messages that I might have fallen behind with through the week. So uh, on the Saturday, it's it's a full day's work for me on the channel. So I don't really get a chance uh, to uh, check highlights and stuff, particularly uh, on a Saturday. Because like I said, just busy keeping things ticking out, get, getting organized for the for the games uh, that I've just done or, or promoting the channel or whatever. There's always stuff to do on Saturdays. But, yeah, thank you for that, Millsard. Nice one, mate. Thank you for letting me know about Radcliffe as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having a look at that later. Right, guys, I'm going to just go and grab myself a coffee. I'll be right back. Keep your comments coming, though, guys. I'll read out more comments uh, when I get back. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and grab myself a coffee. I'll be back in a second.
Oh, sorry about that, guys. Oh, that's better. You know, I'm sitting here wondering why the hell I'm so sneezing. I've just realized <laughs> why I'm so sneezing because I shaved my head last night. That's why. I never shave my head. It always makes me bloody sneezy the next day. So, yeah, that's why. Right, where was I? And Jamie saying back, guys. Awesome. Good to have you back. Thank you, Jamie. Awesome. Top stuff. TV saying, guys, we'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. Just needed to get myself a drink and try and clear my sinuses a bit. I'm wondering why. Shut that window. That might help. But, yeah. I always sneezy when I've, clicked, when I've shaved my head. It's annoying. It's because the temperature's all over the place at the minute. That doesn't help. Uh, thank you, Stevie. Jamie's saying, okay, Stevie, pal. Awesome. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, Mills are saying, I'll go make myself a cup of tea. Absolutely. Why not? Yeah, mate. Good for you. Good Good idea. Pitch side of the part saying, uh, went away to get uh, my lunch. Uh, there, 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 there. In back. I'm back now. Uh, pork chops, uh, you can't beat them. Pork chops, awesome. Yeah, that sounds like a Sunday dinner type uh, thing, pork chops. Do you have that, you have that with um, apple sauce or mint sauce? I'm a big fan of apple sauce with pork, me. I like apple sauce with pork. Some people like mint sauce, though, don't they? Uh, pitch, uh, pitch down with the part saying, you are just right, Millzard. Awesome. Thank you, mate. And Jamie saying, nice pitch side. Oh, top stuff, guys. Top stuff. And Jamie saying, pitch side. Uh, I was going to, to a, <clears throat> I was going to a chicken, uh, my chicken, my girlfriend, uh, in bed, hang over from last night. Going to a chicken, my girlfriend in bed. Is that was going to have chicken? Is that meant to be? I'm not sure. Doesn't quite read right that, Jamie. I'm not sure if you is that are you trying to say you're going to have chicken or you're trying to wake your girlfriend up, scaring her with a chicken? <laughs> uh, just yeah, just wake her up, just tap her on the shoulder and. Wave a, wave a chicken. If you've got a chicken, like, ready uh, on you, you know, to, to that'd be funny. <laughs> Watch her freak out when there's a chicken sitting at the side of her. <laughs> You'll probably be getting disciplined, Jamie. Liverpool making a substitution here. What, what an uh, endo coming off and Sazbar's coming out. I can never read his name. Oh, this sneezing is driving me crazy. And right, Jamie's saying, chicken dinner. Awesome. Chicken, yeah, that and right. I get what you mean. I wasn't sure if you was uh, trying to have a joke there because you put the laughing faces. Obviously laughing at his girlfriend with the hangover. So, team's back on the field, guys. We're back about to get back underway. Now, Liverpool... Uh, with the possession as they play it long out wide to that far side. It's, it's headed back in the direction it came from by Palace. And Liverpool now with the possession played back out to this near side as they chip the ball forward, looking to get in behind the Palace defence. But Palace just managed to intercept it. Now, oh. Well, we've got it coming together there on the halfway line. And Bradley involved in that. And also, can't see the Palace player involved. Uh, Mills already saying, I'll have to hop off uh, for 10 minutes. Be back soon. No worries, mate. No worries. Yeah, go and do what you need to do, mate. Not a problem. I hope you uh, manage to sort out whatever it is you need to do. Oh, yeah, be eating his food, won't he? Enjoy, mate. Enjoy. So Bradley, just getting some treatment there. It's the medical staff. Come on to check him over. Uh, 
Uh, Jamie is saying we've had we had it tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm not cooking uh, something big myself. Yeah, there's no point, Jamie. No point, mate. She's probably not. If she's got hangover, she's probably not going to be in the mood for a big chicken dinner, is she? They probably that'll just probably make a Ralph. <laughs> Well, it looks like it might be a forced change here for Liverpool. Bradley going down under that challenge. He's just receiving treatment. So Trent warming up on the touchline. As it looks like he's going to make his return. Sniffle, yes, it's driving me crazy today, guys. Well, fans acknowledging Bradley's contribution in the last few weeks as they applaud him coming off here. Let's hope that's not too serious. That's uh, Alexander Arnold Trent coming back on. But yeah, that's a good idea, Jamie. Have it in the week, mate. Absolutely. When she's uh, feeling better, as I say, you'd probably make her throw up, won't you? Uh, if you. Uh, if you confront her with a big plate of Sunday dinner. Now Liverpool with the possession on that far side. And say, now play the ball forward. It's forced to play it back into the middle there. As Palace come to challenge for it. Now Liverpool chipping the ball forward over the top. And it goes all the way back to the goalkeeper. And just manages to intercept it. I can't believe how sneezy I am today. It's driving me crazy. Now the ball kicked long up the field as it's won back by Liverpool in the centre circle. Now they knock it out wide on this near side as Palace come to challenge for it. But, uh, just couldn't keep it in play there as it's gone out for a throw-in on this near side. And that'll be a throw-in to Palace. Uh, Mills are saying, uh, I'm back now. I got told 10 minutes, uh, but only took five. No worries, mate. No worries. Yeah, I shouldn't rush down your dinner, though, mate. You give yourself indigestion. <laughs> and uh, pitch side with the part saying, laugh out loud, Jamie. <laughs> With a chicken dinner. Uh, Jamie saying, I'm working in Sheffield in Hillsborough. All right. Awesome. Easier week for you then, mate, this week. Less travelling. Now Liverpool with the ball. Played out wide as it's played long down that far side. And uh, Palace just knock it out of play there. As Liverpool now back with the possession as the ball comes back in play. Played back to the halfway line. Now Liverpool play into the centre circle. Knocked out wide. On this near side, looking for Mo Salah, but it's intercepted by Palace. Is Palace now with the possession as they win it back, playing it back to the goalkeeper this week? So, yeah, good to hear, Jamie. Good to hear, mate. Bit less travel for you this week, then, mate. Uh, pitch side with the part saying, haven't been keeping track of League One. Uh, how is Bolton doing? Um, well, looks like it's going to be playoffs for Bolton, unfortunately, mate. They just didn't quite show enough to uh, get into those automatic places at the top. They still could do it. It's still not mathematically impossible, but uh, I think more than likely Bolton will be in the playoffs. They've been pushing most of the season to try and get into those two automatic promotion spots, but it looks like Derby is going to just beat us to it as they got, um, they got a good win yesterday. 
Now Liverpool with the throw in on this near side as the play, ball played back into the centre. Portsmouth have run away with it as well. They're winning the league. They're going to win it quite comfortably. I think they can win it on Tuesday when they play, I think. Now Liverpool with the possession. Played back into the centre there as uh, Palace block it off there as it's deflected away. But Liverpool regain the possession momentarily before they uh, lose the possession. And now Palace win it back. Palace chipping it forward into the box. It's crossed in and it's just, uh, just not able to get it a shot off there as it bounces out towards that far side. But Palace win it back as now they play it back into the box. Liverpool with a challenge. And uh, now the referee blows for the foul. Uh, Jamie saying Bolton will go up, Gaz. Uh, if they do, if they do, great. But I'd rather not go up through the playoffs, to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the playoffs. But, uh, but yeah. Too much of a lottery in the playoffs. And besides which, as I've said before, the playoffs are just stupid. Absolutely stupid. But we'll see, Jamie. We'll see, mate. They certainly put themselves in the position to get up. They just need to uh, get the job done now. Uh, Millsard saying, weren't Bolton second all season last season and again this season? Uh, no, not last season. No, not last season. They was uh, they was in the playoffs most of last season and they may have been in the uh, second spot for a while, but they weren't in it for long last season. They've been in it a lot more this season. But just... Uh, they were close to winning the league at one point this season, or were close to being top at one point. Uh, but they've just dipped off. They've just dipped off. Just a lot of Bolton fans thinking that Ian, it's Ian Everett's tactics too negative. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if they manage to do it. But I think a lot of Bolton fans are going to start calling for a new manager soon if he doesn't get his act together because he's had a couple of seasons now at Bolton. He's had... Uh, some decent players come into the squad, so he should be starting to get things right now. But uh, still not managed to do it. We'll see what happens uh, as the remaining few games go by. Now Liverpool with the possession. As they play the ball out wide on that far side. Palace coming to challenge for it there, but Liverpool play it back into the centre. As now it's knocked back into the centre circle. Now the ball played forward. Down the middle as Liverpool play it into the box. Looking to get the shot off here. But pu pushed out wide on this near side as it's crossed in by Salah. And a strong challenge comes in from Palace. As the ball is deflected wide. And that will be a corner for Liverpool on the far side. Oh, this sniffliness. Do my head in. Um... Pitch side with the part saying uh, these playoffs are so harsh. Sometimes uh, it would have have me uh, nervous, awake, laugh laugh out loud. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're, I don't like the playoffs. The playoffs are stupid. Bolton could finish on nearly eighty points this season, and the team finishing in the fourth playoff spot could sit uh, finish on sixty points. That's a twenty point difference. But yeah you still end up in the playoffs and, and, and the team that's had a worst performance throughout the season could go up just for winning two games. It's just crazy. But yeah, Bolton will have still, if, if that happened, Bolton will have still won more games than them through the season. So how do you work that out? It just, it doesn't give credibility. I think the playoffs should only be for third and fourth. We shouldn't have uh, the fifth and sixth team involved in the playoffs. So no problem with a playoff. It just shouldn't be uh, for the th uh, for the for the uh, fifth and sixth position, I don't think. I think that should be scrapped. Should be just whoever finishes uh, third and fourth. I think that should be a playoff. Just make it fairer. Just make it abs fairer, in my opinion. Uh, but thank you for that pitch side with the parts. Uh, but Paris is saying, "Is everyone doing good?" I'm doing good. Thank you, Paris. Thank you for asking, mate. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> now Liverpool. With the possession on this near side as it's chipped back into the centre of the field. Now Liverpool on the charge as they work the ball uh, forward and uh, just out wide on that far side as Palace 
press back into their own half. Liverpool still coming forward, though, on that far side. Just Liverpool just cut it back to the halfway line, though, as Palace pressed the ball from the front. Now it's played down the middle as Liverpool knock it out wide to that far side again. Ball crossed into the box. It's knocked away by Palace as Liverpool win it back on the far side. Playing it forward there, but it's a poor ball forward as it goes out of play for a throw-in. Uh, Mills are saying, I think you guys need a new manager. Uh, yeah, I think it's starting to look that way, mate. He's becoming a bit predictable, isn't he? Uh, I think most Bolton fans are saying the same thing, mate. To be fair, he's becoming too predictable. Uh, but yeah, good shout, Millsard. How are you guys? How do you guys feel you're getting on this week, this season, Wigan fans? How are they feeling? Much improved. Obviously, you guys have been grinding out results, but what's the feeling amongst the Wigan fans? Uh, decent season. Uh, obviously, going to take you guys a little bit back to get back to your best after uh, the difficulties with ownership. And that's damaged the quality of your squad, hasn't it, so far, mate? Uh, Jamie's saying, playoffs not uh, not nice to have. Yeah, I don't mind the playoffs, Jamie, if it was just the top, if it's just the team that finished third and fourth, I wouldn't mind it. It's the fact that it's the, involving the team that finished uh fifth and sixth that bugs me because like I just said you can finish in the third playoffs third in the league on on 80 points or close to 80 points and the team that finishes in the in the um in the sixth uh spot of the league can finish on like potentially 20 points less than you uh and then they can win the playoffs and go up but even if they win the two playoff games they'd still would have they still would have you still the team that then it finished third could have still won more games than a team that finished uh, in sixth. So I just think it's a bit cruel like that. I think it should be just the third and fourth team that play the playoffs, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. Um, but thank you for that, Jamie. Jamie's saying going to take grass, uh, going to take grass off water uh, to mega. Oh, glass, glass of water. No worries, mate. No worries, yeah. Tell her to get rehydrated. Ball played down that far side now for Liverpool. as attempted cross, but it's blocked off by Palace and it's gone behind for a corner on the far side. Uh, Millsard saying some fans happy, some fans not happy. Uh, okay, well, thank you for answering, Millsard. I, I don't know how some fans can't be happy because, you know, you got as, as we know, mate, you, you know, the ownership messed things up for you guys last season. So it's a recovery period at the moment, isn't it? You know, it's getting, getting uh, a, rec you know, giving the new owners time to get things in order, get some balance in the club's finances, uh, and then start working on the team uh, to obviously gradually improve it. Uh, Liverpool with a shot from the edge of the box there, but they blasted it well into the air, and that's gone behind an out of play. Yeah, not bad. Not a great effort from Mo Salah there. But Palace just managing to knock it away. Well, yeah, thank you for that, Millsard. Some fans just don't look at the bigger picture, mate. So those fans that are not happy with Wigan, I think they're a bit deluded because it takes time. When you've been through a bad ownership problem, You've got to give a bit. You've got to give a season or two to, for for the club to recover from it. Now, the ball with Palace on this near side is to kick it long down the field. Liverpool trying to challenge for it as Palace managing to keep it on this near side, but Liverpool uh, just getting across and. Uh, challenging as they win it back now, playing it back into the box as Allison comes out to this near side to intercept it. He kicks it, it, kicks it long uh, up the field as uh, both sets of players trying to win it. As uh, Palace do challenge for it there, but uh, unable to keep the possession as the ball just deflects back to Liverpool's defensive line and eventually Liverpool play it back to Allison as Allison now plays it out wide on that far side as Liverpool charging forward now down the far side of the field ball crossed towards the edge of the box as it's headed away and now Palace regain the possession just outside their own box playing the ball forward up towards the halfway line as 
Liverpool challenging for it, but uh, Palace just managing to keep it there. As eventually, at Liverpool, well, the referee's going to give the foul up. So, free kick uh, just on the edge of the centre circle. Liverpool coming forward here as they work the ball towards the edge of the box. Shot comes in, and again, it's blasted over the top of the crossbar. Liverpool wasting chances. Uh, Mills are saying, but our centre back. Uh, our centre back has scored more goals than our starting striker. Well, that hopefully you guys get a better striker next season, mate. That's not good reading, is it? But as I say, that's that's part of the problem with having to mishmash uh, a team together. Obviously, uh, after the bad ownership problems, I don't think some fans realise what what it does to a club when they go through ownership problems. If you get a texture. It can take you five years to get the club in debt and almost in administration. And fans expect it to be some fans, some fans that are not, you know, uh, they're not intelligent enough to look at the bigger picture. They think that uh, you can just fix it in 12 months and job done. Well, it doesn't. If it if you can get in, if a club can get in financial trouble over a five, a five year period, then it's going to take an equal five year period to dig yourselves out of it. Um, so, you know, um, but, uh, but yeah, I know you're not one of them fans, Millsard. I'm not saying you don't get frustrated with your team. I'm sure you do. Uh, but I think you also see the bigger picture that it's a building process now, uh, getting the Wigan to build uh, build back to where they, somewhere near where they was before. Obviously, it will take a little bit of time to get uh, better players in and improve the squad uh, and recover from the previous owner's bad decisions uh, and also the fines and points deductions and what have you that the club kept getting because of his stupidity. Um, Jamie is saying, uh, big game on Saturday, Blades v Burnley at the lane. Oh yeah, that's a big game. Definitely, mate. Absolutely. Now Liverpool with the possession on this near side as they cross the ball out to the far side. It's headed out wide on that far side by Palace as Liverpool regain the possession. Midway inside the Crystal Palace half on the far side of the field. Liverpool just playing it back towards the edge of the centre circle as they knock it back out wide on that far side. As Palace just sitting deep here. Liverpool again playing it back into the middle. That's uh, just knocking it about now on the edge of the centre circle. Now the ball played out to Trent on this near side. As it's challenged by Palace, and now Palace knocking it forward as it just goes out of play there. Couldn't keep it in, and that'll be a throw into Liverpool on on this near side, about uh, five yards from the halfway line, just inside the Palace half. As they take it quickly now, playing it back to the centre backs. Ball switched out to that far side as they come forward. Palace come to challenge as Liverpool just cut it back there. Now Liverpool trying to play it forward as the challenge comes in there from Palace, and that'll be a three free kick to Liverpool. Taken short. It's now, again, they play it back out wide on that far side, but Palace again come to press the ball as Liverpool just cut it back there. And now, again, played out to Robertson on that far side as it's cut back to Van Dyke, playing it into the middle. Liverpool switch the play out to this near side now, playing it to Mo Salah, but Mo Salah just plays it all the way back to Allison as uh, Palace press the ball from the front quite well there. Don't forget, guys, please do hit that like button if you could. And thank you very much if you have already. Uh, much appreciated. If you're listening in on Kick, please do follow. And if you're new to fan then on YouTube, please do subscribe. Oh, Liverpool now with the ball over the top as it comes out towards this near side. And um, Palace come across the challenge, but Liverpool uh, just, well, they've lost it there. As now Palace playing it back up towards the halfway line, but it's knocked out of play uh, by Konata. Uh, Konate, and uh, that, that will be a throwing on this near side for Palace. As Liverpool about to make a substitution here, it's going to be a double. So uh, Luis Diaz coming off here. So it's Nunes and Diaz going off and it's Gakpo uh, and Jota coming on. But yeah, big game that, Jamie. As you say, mate, Millsard saying uh, and 
And our striker is Josh Mag Magnus uh, that played for Bolton four years ago. Yeah, yeah, well. Um, well, sometimes, mate, it works out, doesn't it? Sometimes it, well, I've heard a bit about it. Yeah, I've heard about a bit, bit of the uh, complaints. You, you were buzzing with him when you got him, I thought. I thought you were happy to get him, but. Yeah, he's not uh, doing very well for you guys at the minute, obviously. But, um, oh, now ball crossed into the box. As Liverpool unable to get on the end of it as it comes out on that far side. Now an attempted cross there, but it's blocked off by Palace as the ball deflects away. And now Liverpool winning the ball back further up the field. Now they play it back out wide on that far side. As, uh, it's just cut back there. As Palace trying to challenge, and now Liverpool knock it towards goal, but it goes straight down uh, the goalkeeper's throat. He manages to intercept that quite comfortably. Uh, but yeah, I'm surprised. I was surprised when you guys got him. I was surprised when you guys got him. Four years ago, Bolton was struggling, uh, in really struggling, recovering from uh, the ownership problems at that point. Uh, and there was a reason Bolton let him go, because he's not good enough. Um, so I was surprised when you guys got him. But obviously, you guys, at the time when you got him, you thought you could get a tune out of him. Uh, and uh, it's proved not to be the case. And uh, as you can see now, maybe you, can, you guys can see why Bolton let him go. Um, but uh, sorry to hear he's not doing the business for you, mate. Uh, Jamie's saying, not going, to, uh, not going to it. It's too expensive, guys. I can imagine, yeah, you know, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with some of the ticket prices I've heard from Sheffield United this season. Pretty shocking. Uh, but no worries, Jamie. Yeah, I totally understandable. I know we'd all love to go to games, and that's the biggest problem, isn't it? The cost of tickets. Some of the tickets are just ridiculous. But yeah, that's totally understandable, mate. You got uh, obviously we all love to spend money on football, but sometimes. Uh, when, with the price of cost of life at the minute going up so much, it's not just not always feasible to do it, is it, mate? Don't worry. Uh, Liverpool now playing the ball out wide as it's chipped into the box. It's knocked forward there as Palace just managed to knock it away. And it's gone behind for a corner on this near side for Liverpool. Uh, Mills are saying, but last time uh, we didn't have a go, a good season in League One, uh, the season after. Uh, we had one of the biggest of unbeaten streaks uh, in League One with 23 games unbeaten streak. Now, you, you know, Millsard, when you want to come and talk about Wigan deep like this, you should you should come on the community shows. I've tried a few community shows now for you guys to talk like this about your team. Uh, but you guys never, when you want to talk about deep about your team, you don't, you don't come on the community shows. It's, it's strange. That's what the community shows I've been trying and when I've done them, that's what they're for, for you guys to really talk in depth about your team like this. Because um, obviously it's difficult for me to keep giving a comment uh, during a match watch along. But thank you for that, Millsard. Uh, keep the faith, mate. Keep the faith. Uh, hopefully you guys will have a much better season next season. Uh, Richard Seven, how you doing, mate? Richard saying hi, fan den and all viewers. Uh, question, how have... How have you seen Klopp's uh, departure impacting uh, on Liverpool players like Button uh, now hit? Uh, thank you for that, Richard Seven. Uh, welcome to Football Fan Den and welcome uh, to the Fan Den community, mate. <laughs> Liverpool now with a cross into the box. It's headed away. Uh, so, so I'll come to your question in a minute, Richard. As Palace win it back outside the box, Liverpool challenges. Liverpool now again with another ball and chipped into the box. It's knocked away again by Palace. As Palace now trying to race out to that far side, but they just go over cheaply there. That's a poor, oh, come on, ref. That's a poor decision by the referee. Jota getting a... Uh, a yellow card for his trouble there. Just catching the back of his foot. Um, how many views? Question. Uh, how you have you seen Klopp's departure impacting on Liverpool players? Um, yeah, there does there does seem to be evidence, doesn't there, mate, that it's not having a positive impact. The players uh, seem to have uh, been struggling since. Uh, well, not struggling straight away. I think obviously when they when he first announced it, there wasn't an immediate noticeable change. Uh, but as the weeks have dropped, you know, progressed, uh, we're starting to see that. 
maybe some of the players' heads have dropped a little bit. Maybe it's now they've started to digest uh, the fact that the manager's leave it, leaving. Um, there does seem to be a bit of a drop-off. Uh, whether they're doing it purposely, I don't know. Um, seems strange. But, uh, yeah, did, like I say, they, they were in full momentum before he m mentioned it, didn't he? Um, but, yeah, I would say that we'd, we'd, it's hard to put a finger on exactly, but I would say there is evidence with the way the team has been playing. But then again, it, it's also injuries as well, aren't there? So, you know, oh, Liverpool playing it into the box as they get the shot off and it's blocked off there by Palace as the ball deflects behind. And that will be another corner for Liverpool. But yeah, great question, Richard. I, I like to say, Matt, I do, I do agree. I think there has been some evidence uh, of it impacting the players mentally uh, in in some way, um, and obviously maybe that's also affected them with motivation. But uh, other than that, it's, it's really difficult to pinpoint it in it exactly uh, to what degree. Because like we say, you know, Liverpool's had a number of injuries as well to key players. I mean, I think this is the game. First game, Allison's been back today, and obviously Trent's just come on in the second half. So, um, so yeah, Liverpool really struggling at the moment to keep their momentum going. As the goal uh, goalkeeper now kicks the ball long down the field as Palace intercepts it. But great question, thank you for that, Richard. Uh, seven, good stuff, mate. And as I say, welcome to Fan. Then uh, Jamie's saying it's not Liverpool today. Uh, not Liverpool today after losing 3-0 on Thursday night. I know they played really poor then, I know, didn't they? So, Palace have won a free kick here. Midway inside the Liverpool half. I'd say about 35 yards from goal. Uh, out, slightly out to this near side. So, Liverpool with, finding themselves with a, uh, a free kick to defend here. As Palace... Chip it forward into the box, headed towards goal, and it bounces off Allison and goes behind and out of play. And that will be a corner for Palace. Uh, Jamie saying, uh, so yeah, thank you, Jamie. You're right, yep. They definitely seem to just lost the momentum. It's, it's since that United game last weekend, they've just seemed to have lost their, their momentum. Um, and it's strange, isn't it, to put your finger on it. Um, don't forget, guys, please do hit that like button if you could, and thank you very much if you have already. Uh, always appreciate it. It doesn't cost you nothing just to be nice, and uh, uh, it's very much appreciated as it just helps a little bit with uh, other people being able to see us better on YouTube. Now, Liverpool hitting Palace on the counter-attack as they knock the ball forward, coming racing into the box as they get the shot off, and it's just wide. Whoa, wasted opportunity there by Liverpool. How did he miss that? Uh, Jamie saying hi, Richard Seven. Awesome. Thank you, Jamie. Loving the positive vibes, mate. Top man. Top man. Uh, Millsard saying, but problem is I can't join on them streams sometimes because I have a football match early in the morning. I don't, mate, I don't do most of the community show. I mean, I've not tried loads of them, but when I have tried them, it's most of the time it's been in the evening, mate. Uh, but no worries, no worries. I know it's not always easy for you to get. I'm just making you aware. We're going to start drip feeding a bit more of that into the into the channel where I can, mate. So them community shows, that's what they're going to be there for. It's going to be for you guys to talk in depth about your club because I, I really want to talk to you guys about your clubs. You know that. But it's really difficult to do that when we're doing a match watch along. Um, obviously, so uh, so just not a problem, Millsar. Don't take it the wrong way, mate. I'm just giving you the heads up. Start. Uh, we won't be doing loads of them. We're probably trying to start do one a month. Uh, I'm going to start trying to do one a month at least to start drip feeding it into uh, into the channel. Um, so you guys just be aware of it. If you see a community show come up, uh, which is not hard to see because I always put fan dinners on it. Um, if you see that come up, you know that kind of show is for you guys to come and talk in depth about your club without the distraction of a game. Do you get what I mean? Uh, so thank you, Millsard. Not a problem, mate. Totally understand. Not always uh, convenient to come on top, man. 
Uh, when you get a chance, though, keep an eye out for those community shows. So then, then we can have a really good in-depth conversation about your club uh, and uh, the, the, you know, things that you guys want to express, good or bad. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start trying to do that once a month, guys. Uh, like I say, just to start drip feeding it in because there's no point doing it more than once a month at the moment because uh, those shows kind of thing. We want, want to get the ball rolling with it first, if you know what I mean. But not a problem, Millzard, not a problem. But yeah, don't do community shows in the morning, mate, because I'm most of the, most of the time I'm at work in the morning. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're having a substitution here for Palace, triple, and it's uh, Klein, Ez, Easy, Hughes coming off. Um, uh, it's, uh, sorry, guys, it comes up so quick, just doesn't give you time to read it. It's so annoying. These bloody media companies, they think you can read like, a, you know, like a computer. Sorry, guys, I'll get the players in a minute. Uh, so, yeah, it is. Uh, uh, so, yeah, Will Hughes going off. Jared. Uh, Reed Wild coming on to replace him. Also, Joe Ward coming on and Jeffrey uh, Shalup coming on. Now, Palace with the possession. In the centre circle, as Liverpool challenge for it, but Palace managing to keep the possession there as they uh, play the ball out towards this near side. Liverpool come to challenge for it as it's knocked forward there. And Liverpool just managing to challenge and win it back on this near side, midway inside their own half. Uh, but, yep, thank you for that, Mills. Our top man. Thank you for that, mate. As I say, don't do the community shows in the morning, mate. Always will be more, more than like, most often than not, it'll be of an evening. Uh, but uh, you can't miss them. Always clear to see a community show, guys, because it's marked fan dinners. Um, Millzard is saying, but if you do a community stream uh, this Friday, I can join. I haven't looked that far ahead yet, mate. I haven't looked that far ahead. And uh, if I if I is Friday, Friday is normally a good night to do games anyway. Um, but yeah. Don't worry, you'll catch one hopefully in the future, mate. You'll catch one at some point. Uh, as I say, we do try and do one a month at the moment. Jamie is saying, Fulham two up, Gaz. Thank you, Jamie. Nice one for letting us know, mate. <laughs> Top man. The ball. So we're on 70, just coming up to 79 minutes gone, guys. Liverpool nil, Palace one. Uh, Richard is saying, Liverpool. Liverpool building up ahead of steam uh, here. Would you agree that scoring goals is the toughest uh, thing to do in pro football? Uh, the lack of goals at the crunch uh, end of the season is clear as day. Um... No, 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 I wouldn't agree with that, mate. I, I, definitely, scoring goals is definitely difficult. I'm not saying it isn't. Uh, but I think good defending is also equally as difficult. As we know, mate, if you don't have a decent defence, you will just leak goals like 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 crazy. Sorry, I was going to use another word then. My apologies. Uh, you will just leak goals like crazy. Um, so, uh I think I think you're right. I think one of the most important things, or one of the most difficult things in football, is scoring goals. But also having a good defence. Look at how many teams we've had where they've had a shoddy mishmash defence, um, and it's just not worked. They're conceding goals left, right, and centre. Um, and uh, obviously, so I think that's just equally as crucial. I think sometimes don't some fans, and no disrespect to your comment, you're right to have your opinion, mate. I respect your opinion. But I think sometimes fans don't give enough credit to just how difficult it is to put in uh, put a good defence together. Uh, just look at Liverpool when Klopp first came in. They were struggling to keep the back door shut. And he, 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 he had that mentality, didn't he? A full metal football, if we outscore you. We, we might not be able to keep the back door shut, but we'll outscore you. That was his, his philosophy when he first came to the club. And look at Man United, mate. Look at them. They're a shambles at the back uh, each and every season at the moment. Do you know what I mean? They, they you know, one game they play well, the next game they play shocking and concede loads of goals. Um, so I, I'm sure you get what I'm going, getting at, mate. I think, I think you're right. That, that goal scoring is one of the difficult things, most difficult things in football. But I think the defending 
is equally uh, the same in that respect. But that's just my personal opinion. But thank you for that, uh, Richard Seven. Great, great comment, mate. Top stuff, mate. Yeah, that's a great comment, Richard. Loving that, mate. Top contribution to the chat. Uh, Jamie's saying, come on, everyone, like and sub. It's all free to do. It's nice to see new people in the chat. Much love. Absolutely well said, Jamie. Thank you for that, mate. Top man. Classy guy. Top stuff, Jamie. Thank you for that, mate. Absolutely awesome, as always, from Jamie. And yes, guys, please do hit that like button, as Jamie said. Cost you nothing to be nice. Absolutely. Top stuff, mate. You are a classy guy. And always appreciate the support. So, uh, Curtis Jones coming off here and uh, Harvey Elliott coming on. Corner on this near side for Liverpool. 82 minutes gone, guys. Liverpool now with this corner. Can they capitalise on it? As the ball crossed in, it's deep. As both sets of players trying to head it in the air. It's, it's knocked away, but uh, now the referee blows for the foul in the box. And we've got a Palace player down. Uh, Milzod saying, I'll have to go now. Uh, bye, everyone. Everyone, No worries, Milzod. Uh, thank you for joining, mate. It's been a pleasure having uh, your conversation and company. And, uh, yep, look forward to talking to you more on future streams, mate. Look after yourself. Best wishes to you and the family, mate. Stay safe and well. And, yeah, hopefully catch you on one of the community shows as we start to trip them in, mate. Uh, as I say, I've only done a couple up to now, so you might, that's why you might have missed them. Uh, but uh, as I say, just keep an eye out for a Millsod because, as I say, I know you like to talk, want to have a good chat about your team sometimes, so it'd be great to do that more in depth without the distraction of a game. But, yeah, look after yourself, mate. Enjoy the rest, rest of your weekend. Uh, stay safe and well. Best wishes to you and your family. And uh, as I say, thank you for coming, getting involved. Top man, Millsod. Stay safe, mate. Stay safe. And now Liverpool playing the ball down the middle as Palace get back and make the challenge as they push Liverpool out wide on this near side. But Mo Salah managing to keep it there as he cuts it uh, back inside. And now Liverpool with the possession as they play it out towards the opposite side of the field. Challenge comes in there. And the referee's going to give a free kick to Liverpool. Uh, Jamie's saying, bye, Millsod, mate. Uh, you take care, pal. Absolutely top stuff. Thank you, Jamie. Top stuff. Thank you, mate. Loving the positive vibes. Thank you, mate. Uh, Jamie say, no worries, guys, mate. Awesome. You are an absolute gentleman, Jamie. Thank you for that, mate. So Liverpool now with a free kick on that far side of the field. Uh, not really a good position for a shot. I think we're going to get the cross here. Cross comes in as it's headed away by Palace. Liverpool winning the ball back on this near side as Elliot gets to it first, just cuts it back there. Another cross comes into the box, headed away again by Palace as they win it back uh, outside the box, further up the field. Now it's played out wide on this near side as uh, Palace trying to come forward there, but Liverpool challenged for it on the halfway line, but Palace win it right back as they knock it forward and Liverpool eventually... Uh, win the possession back, just knocking it back to the goalkeepers. Now they build again from the edge, edge of the box, playing the ball out wide to that far side. All right. Oh, Palace have won it again on that far side as Liverpool make the challenge and win it back. Now Liverpool coming forward, playing the ball out to this near side with a long crossfield ball. Elliot gets to it as he crosses it into the box. It's knocked away by Palace and it goes out on this near side for a throw in. Uh, Jamie's saying Megan, uh, her brother, going to Euro this year uh, cost him uh, a ham, arm and a leg. Uh, he going five, going, arm and a leg. He going five weeks, five weeks going early. Is he going early, mate? Yeah, as you imagine, it's costing him an arm and a leg. Absolute crazy how much it costs to go to a European to tournament. Liverpool now with the ball down that far side. It's crossed in, knocked towards goal as Palace managed to knock it away. And Liverpool regain the possession. As now they chip the ball back into the box. It's knocked away by Palace as Liverpool regain the possession further up the field. 
And now Liverpool come again as they play it out wide on this near side. Palace struggling to get out their own half at the moment as Liverpool keep on boxed in. Ball played back towards the edge of the centre circle as it knocked out towards that far side. Liverpool just cutting it back inside as Palace come to press the ball. Now Liverpool knocking it out wide to this near side as they try to come forward. But again, Palace pressing the ball from the front. As, uh, Liverpool just knocking it about at the moment as they play it back out wide to Elliot on this near side. But again, he just cuts it straight back to the halfway line. It's now Liverpool switching the play out to Trent on the opposite. Uh, no, sorry, Gakpo on the opposite side of the field as he plays it back to Van Dijk, who comes to help out. Liverpool just look lacking in ideas here. Just get the ball played forward, lads. You can't... In Palace are just parking the bus a bit here. As Liverpool struggling to break them down. Now Liverpool chipping the ball forward as again. Palace head it away. And Liverpool regain the possession on the edge of the centre circle. Sorry, Richard, I will come to your comment in a minute, mate. Just waiting for a break in play. But uh, at the moment, it's like ping pong as Liverpool just knocking it about inside the Palace half, uh, but not really creating any danger. As now Trent with the ball crossed into the box. It's knocked away again by Palace. Oh, and uh, goes all the way up the field as Allison uh, comes to the halfway line to intercept it. Now he plays it out towards uh, this near side. There's another. Ball crossed into the box, but it bounces out to Gakpo on the far side. It's now Gakpo cuts it back. Liverpool trying to make the chat. Well, it was a referee waves it away. It's now Liverpool again. Come again with Gakpo trying to cross it in, but this time it's deflected behind, and that will be a corner on the far side for uh, Liverpool. Richard uh, is saying if Liverpool lose the lose here, uh, will this likely spell Curtis? Um, curtains to the Premier League title appro uh, apparatus. Uh, I really expect a big reaction after that Euro uh, Europa Cup loss. Uh, as a Gunner fan, uh, this is lo lovely. Well, I'm sure, yeah, Richard, I'm sure you are loving Liverpool's failings. If they lose it, they're throwing it away for themselves because they were in the driving seat. Um, all hope. Uh, I mean, if if uh, Arsenal managed to win it, congratulations to them. Uh, although I've got to be honest, I'm very critical of the Arsenal fans because uh, not so long ago, a big percentage of Arsenal fans were calling for Arteta to be sacked, uh, and now those uh, fans have suddenly gone silent. Uh, but yeah, if 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 Arsenal start a bad season next season, I will bet they'll rear their heads again. And uh, uh, but uh, but yeah. I've got to give credit to Arsenal. Arteta, I think, is doing an absolute fantastic job and not getting enough credit uh, from some of the Arsenal fans, in my opinion. But, uh, but yeah, looks like Liverpool are throwing it away. Done it, mate. Looks like Liverpool are throwing it away. Thank you for that, Richard. Top stuff, mate. Jamie's saying five weeks in Germany in July. Uh, thank you, Jamie. Yeah, that's going to be expensive, isn't it? Now Liverpool coming forward again. Uh, Jamie's saying, I tell, I just tell him I watched it at home and cheaper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, not everybody can afford to go to the Euros, mate. Absolute uh, ridiculous cost to go out there, innit, mate? I think some people I've heard spending as much as uh, £3,000 to go out to uh, the Euros, and that's not including spending money. That's just, uh, how can you justify spending that kind of money on football? Um, unless you're rich. It's just crazy. Now Liverpool playing the ball out wide on this near side. It's another ball crossed in. It's headed away by Palace, but Liverpool picking up the pieces outside the box. Now they play it out wide to that far side. Seven minutes and it added on as Liverpool with the ball crossed in. It's knocked towards goal. And again, it's blocked off by Palace as the ball's deflected wide. So, yep, seven minutes added on time. Uh, Chungi is saying, please, can you address? No, no, I can't, mate. That's got nothing to do with football. Absolutely nothing to do with football. Why, why do I need to talk about that? I'm not going to talk about political stuff on a football channel, mate. Now, Liverpool with the possession. 
as they play the ball out wide on the far side. And it's now, what a stupid comment to come in. He's not even made a football comment and he's coming in making that statement. Absolutely shocking. I stay away from the political stuff as much as, fo as, much as possible. Right, I'm getting rid of this guy. I'm getting rid of this guy. Sorry, guys. I'm not. It's not. I'm not. Go, I'm not going to say anything about it one way or the other. It's it's politics. We're here to talk about football. Now, Palace with the possession as they come forward. It's challenged by Liverpool as Liverpool win it back, chipping it forward. There is Mo Salah comes into the box. Can he get the shot off? Oh, Palace just doing enough there as the ball deflected out towards that far side. And eventually it's got knocked away and it's gone out for a throw-in on that far side. Jamie's saying uh, Liverpool, Liverpool, them don't uh, know what they're doing at the moment. I know they're having a really tough time, aren't they, mate? And uh, Jamie's saying, guys, block him. No, I'm not blocked him. I've not blocked him. I've just put him on timeout. No, I don't need to block somebody. Uh, unless it's absolutely necessary, Jamie. Uh, we have to give people the benefit of the doubt. Well, I'm just not going to get drawn into political talk conversation when we're here to talk about football. Some people have got a political agenda, and I'm not going to get drawn into their narrative just because they've got a political agenda. We're not here to talk about politics. We're here to talk about football. If I was here to talk about politics, I'd be doing a polit political show, wouldn't I? There's plenty of other YouTubers on YouTube covering politics. I'm staying away from it because YouTube is very difficult to be successful on YouTube talking politics. So I'm not going to express an opinion either way. We're here to talk about football. Uh, but thank you, Jamie. Appreciate the support, mate. But we don't need to block him. I've just put him on timeout. Uh, hopefully he realizes we're here to talk about football, not politics. Uh, thank you, mate. Uh, Jamie's saying, thanks, guys. I, like I say, mate, I've not blocked him. He's just on timeout. Just timeout. No need to block people unless it's absolutely necessary. But, yeah, I'm not going to have people coming in trying to switch the conversation uh, over to something they've got a narrative about, especially when it's politics. It's nothing. To, what's n absolutely nothing to do with football. Absolutely nothing to do with football. But some people, as I say, they've got a narrative. Uh, thank you, Jamie. Appreciate the positive vibes, mate. But yeah, I'm, as I say, mate, not going to block him. Just give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's hope he realizes we're not here to talk about football, even though he wants to, uh, uh, to I'm sorry, talk, not here to talk about politics. He's getting me confused now. Uh, thank you, Jamie. Nice one, mate. And uh, Stevie's saying, uh, Stevie's saying, got football uh, channel, Chungi, we're not talking about that. Absolutely well said, Stevie. Well said. And uh, Jamie saying, all right, guys, top man. Thank you for that, Jamie. Thank you for your understanding, mate. It's nothing personal, guys. It's not, uh, like I say, I wish everybody peace in the world. That's what all I would say about that. I wish everybody peace in the world. But I'm not going to tolerate people coming in, uh, trying to get us on a political uh, debate when we're here to talk about football. There's so many channels on YouTube covering politics. Why why come into a football chat trying to switch the conversation to politics? It's just not needed. But some people have got a narrative. Some people have got a narrative. Uh, Richard is saying, guys, can you see a few leaders uh, in, that, in this Liverpool side? Big uh, characters are needed in uh, Trent. Trenches, fair dues to Crystal Palace, though. Uh, the players seem to be playing for the manager, though. Uh, though, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And Palace have put in a good performance today, a dogged performance, I would say. I've got to give them credit for their desire and determination to get a result. And Liverpool, but uh, but let's be honest, it's it's Liverpool more than likely shooting themselves in the foot, mate. We know that when Liverpool are on form at Anfield, nobody can get a result against them. But uh, at the moment, they seem to have dropped off. And, and like I say, they're gonna, this, this result looks like it's going to go like this with six minutes into the added on time now. Palace have got to throw in deep on this near side, deep inside the Liverpool half. And it looks like it's going to finish like this. And Liverpool going to and the full impetus 
of the title to Arsenal. As the ball is deflected behind, and that's going to be uh, a goal kick for Liverpool. It's now Liverpool uh, trying to play out from the back. It's just been shocking this afternoon, Liverpool. Absolutely shocking. Referees stopped the play here. So Jefferson Lerma has just been booked uh, by the referee, the Palace player. Well, Alison Becker ball crossed into the box, headed towards goal. And it just goes behind, and that was going to be a Palace goal kick. Uh, Rich Bowe uh, Bo is saying, uh, I'm tempted to say Liverpool are bottling it. Well, yeah, some people call it that. I, I call it shooting themselves in the foot. They've, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, they have. For there goes the full time whistle. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that terminology, bottling it, but I understand why people use it. But that's a fair comment, Richard. Uh, yeah, fair comment, mate. Uh, I think they have. They've uh, flopped at the final hurdle, Liverpool, and in the momentum to Arsenal now. So it's Arsenal's to lose. Can Arsenal keep the momentum going and uh, uh, stop City beating them to it? Because City will certainly keep the pressure on, even if Liverpool don't. Well, you can just see by the Liverpool players' body language, they feel that they've let themselves down today and not uh, taken advantage of the opportunity to keep the pressure on Arsenal as it's finished. Uh, Liverpool nil, Crystal Palace won. Congratulations to Palace, good win for them. Uh, Jamie saying, right, guys, I'm cooking something. Uh, pal, catch up soon, pal, and everyone in the chat. No worries, Jamie. No worries, Jamie. Thank you, mate. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Yeah, I'm going to wrap it up here because I'm going to go and uh, make the most of this dry weather. We've got some dry weather today and I've been dying to get out and get some jobs done. Uh, so I'm going to go and make the most of it uh, and try and get something done. But thank you, Jamie. Uh, it's been a pleasure as always, mate. Uh, enjoy your rest of your Sunday afternoon. Uh, hopefully, uh, you, Megan feels a bit better soon, mate, and you get to enjoy some food with her. And, uh, chill out for the rest of the Sunday. Uh, so thank you, Jamie. Stay safe and well, mate. Always a pleasure. And uh, look after yourself. Hopefully you have a good day at work tomorrow. I may pop back on later on, guys, this evening. I'm not promising. Uh, see how I get on, but I'm going to go and try and get some jobs done. I've been waiting for some dry weather to get some jobs done, and it is actually dry today, so I'm going to go and try and get some done. Um, but thank you, Jamie. Take care, mate. Best wishes. Uh, as I say, I may pop on later. Uh, in the evening, but uh, I'm I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Uh, whether, whether I get sidetracked, because like I say, I've got I've got a list of jobs. So many jobs I've got to get done, guys. Uh, I'm just not getting them done. But thank you, Jamie. Best wishes to you and Megan. Uh, take care, mate. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Stay safe and well. And thank you as always uh, for being with us. Always a pleasure having your conversation and company. Top stuff, Jamie. Uh, Paris is saying, are you coming back on? For afternoon at 4.30. No, mate, I'm not going to do the Arsenal game. Uh, as uh, as I say, I've been wanting to get outside and get some jobs done. And I've been working on fun then. Full days for the last, I think, pretty much the last four, four weeks or something like that. Every weekend working solid on the channel. So forgive me, mate. I'm going to take a little bit of time to go and get some other stuff done this afternoon. I did a full day on the channel yesterday. So I'm only going to do part of a day today because, like I say, I've got just too many other jobs stacking up to get done. So sorry, Paris. Uh, I won't be on for the Arsenal game. But I might be might pop back on uh, for an hour later on this evening uh, just so you guys are going to have a talk about football generally. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to wrap it up for now, mate. I can't promise I'll be back on, but I may be. So just in case you guys wanted to keep an eye out. But uh, if not, I'll see you guys uh, in the week for more football. Uh, thank you, Paris. It's been a pleasure, as always, having your comfort conversation and company. Sorry I'm not coming back on, mate. And not 
uh, for the Arsenal game. It's nothing to do with Arsenal or the teams or anything like that. It's just, like I say, I've been dying for some dry weather. It's been raining so much over the last couple of months. I've just not managed to get uh, any jobs done and I've got loads to do. And I'm, I'm also in the mil- middle of filming somewhere outside uh, as well for my other channel, Gazgo. Um, so, yeah, I hope to hopefully get that finished off today, the filming that I'm doing for that while it's dry. Um, but thank you, Paris. It's been a pleasure, mate. Um, it's been a pleasure. Uh, hopefully see you on other streams. Uh, Paris saying, do you do uh, the Monday night football at 8 o'clock? I do, yeah, sometimes, mate. Yeah, I do. It depends. I just take one day as it comes, mate. Obviously, I work full-time. So, as you've probably noticed, Paris, I do a lot of games uh, here on Fanden. It's just random days what I come on. But I come on, uh, I probably, if there's seven days in a week, Let's put it this way, mate. If there's, if there's, if there's seven days in a week and I'm probably on for five of them, I'm probably on the channel for five of them. Some weeks, maybe less. Sometimes I'm on for all seven. Uh, as not this week, but the week before I did, uh, I did, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it was 11 days in a row. 11 days solid. One day after another, after another, after another. I was on every day for 11 days solid. But as you can understand, I also have other responsibilities, my full-time job and other things to get done as well. So have to try and squeeze things in and around it as well. Uh, but as you will see, Paris, I am on the channel a lot, mate. So you will see me back very soon. Uh, whether it's today, I'm not sure, but uh, you'll definitely see me back either tomorrow or Tuesday. Uh, but thank you, Paris. It's been a pleasure having your company and conversation. I look forward to enjoying some uh, football chat with you on future shows, mate. And as always, uh, a pleasure to have your company. And uh, stay safe, mate. Best wishes to you and your family. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday, mate. Uh, and thank you very much for being with us. So I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Apologies, I'm not staying on long. I'm, as I say, may pop back on for an hour later. Not sure yet. See how I get on. But I'm going to go out and try and get make the most of this dry spell while it's here because it could be raining again tomorrow. Um, so I'll see you again soon, guys. Uh, look after yourself. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. I look forward to talking to you guys more on future sto- shows. But for now, that's it from me. Take care, guys. Enjoy the weekend. Uh, and uh, best wishes to everyone. Stay safe. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>